Hi, everybody. It's Pastor Rob from Rose Park Baptist Church in Holland, Michigan. It's time for your midday Bible break. Today, we're in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 28. And I'm speaking on the subject today, sometimes you just have to shake it off. Now, in this life, you're going to get bit. People are going to talk about you. People are going to gossip about you. People are going to post about you. People are going to say all kinds of nasty things about you. They're going to be like snakes in the grass. What do you do? Well, there's an important principle in the book of Acts uh, from the life of the Apostle Paul, an incident he had where a, where, where a snake, an actual snake, bit him. And he did something really important. He just shook it off and he kept on going. Uh, in Acts chapter 20, I'm going to start reading in verse 3. And when Paul gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt this is a murderer whom though hath, he hath escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffereth him not to live. And in verse five, and he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit when they looked that he should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly, but after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said, he was a God. Now, I love that passage where it's like, people like, oh yeah, that guy, he got what he deserved. And then they're like, Paul just shook it off. He just kept on going, kept on working. They're like, oh, there's something different about that guy. You know, there ought to be something different about Christians. Christians, can I just say, people are going to talk about you. People are going to say nasty things about you. People in your own family, people that should know better, people that should be, uh, can I just say, Christians, even maybe your pastor, maybe your Sunday school teacher, maybe a deacon, maybe somebody you love, somebody that you respect, somebody that you thought was a better Christian than that, or maybe not. They're going to say things. And you know what? You're going to get bit. You're going to get hurt. Paul got hurt. This thing was a venomous beast. It, uh, it, it, it came out of the fire and it bit him and it held, hung on his hand. But Paul, you know what he did? He just shook it off. He just took it and he just shook it off and he kept on going. He kept on working. He kept on serving. He kept on being a Christian. He kept being a, a, a witness for God. Paul just shook it off. Can I just say there's a great, very great, very important principle here in, in the word of God, Christian. Listen, you're going to get bit. It's just going to happen. So what are you going to do? You're going to sit down. You're going to pout. You're going to whine. You're going to moan. You're going to quit. You're going to give up on God. Oh, it's too hard to be a Christian. Oh, God, I didn't sign up for all of this. Paul didn't. He just shook it off and he kept on going. Christian, now listen, you know what? You want to you make a difference? You want to be a witness? You want to let your light shine on a hill so people will see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven? Then you're going to have to just decide to shake it off. Hey, you know why? You want, do you want to know why some Christians are still in church and other Christians aren't in church? Do you want to know why some pastors are in the ministry and some pastors are no longer in the ministry? Do you want to know how some Christians just keep going year after year after year after year? You know why? They just shake it off. Yep, you're going to get bit. Yep, it's going to hurt. Yep, you're not going to deserve it. But you know what? Just shake it off and keep on going. Christian, uh, this is a great truth in the Christian life. I hope this helps you. I hope it's been a blessing. Hey, until we meet again, let's keep looking unto Jesus.